Welcome everyone. This is Social Dissonance. It is a durational concert. I have to let you know in advance that we are being filmed, as you can see. The video is uh, streamed online as we speak. And uh, tomorrow it will be uploaded on YouTube and on archive.org. So unfortunately, if you do, do not wish to be filmed, we cannot change that. So maybe you should go now. Uh, so the concert lasts for one hour and it is better if you stay for the whole hour. It helps to build the situation here. So you can always go uh, in the middle, but uh, you will be asked to give us a short feedback uh, explaining why you're leaving or what you think of what is happening in order for us uh, to learn from you and improve. We have a connection with Castle right now. They can see us. Probably they cannot hear us yet, as we cannot hear them. So just some practical information about our communication with Castle. Um, there are some technical problems, so keep in mind that uh, if you want to speak to them and you want your voice to be heard, uh, you should be close to this camera and speak very uh, clearly and loud. Also, you can type in, uh, in this computer and the person who is holding the camera in Castle will be able to see what you're typing. It just has a, about 10 seconds delay, so keep that in mind. Would you like to discuss about
So just a small reminder in case this is not clear, uh, the, pe the people in Kassel are expecting uh, to uh, have our suggestions, so they do not know how to proceed yet. Uh, what they will do in their room kind of depends on uh, what we will uh, propose to them to do. So you were saying it's a big agenda? Yeah, it's a very big agenda. <laughs> How do you mean that? Well, we will we will do the cameras, we will do the form of ourselves, meet to our individual articles. And you're saying we should do something as a communal group, we're not used to doing that. We shop on our own, we consume on our own, we entertain ourselves on our own. And you're suggesting that we do something in a way that interact with total strangers, which we don't normally do in our in our day-to-day -day life. And that's a big agenda to do with a bunch of strangers who have come here by their free will, not understanding what the agenda will be. We thought you would be doing some entertainment, and it seems like we have to do the entertainment. So it puts us, um, there's a bit of tension there, expectation. She keeps saying we have to start. You know, she said it three times now, so something has to happen. I don't know what it is. Would you like to share this worry of yours this worry with of the group <laughs> in Kassel? Um, yes, I'd, I'd like them to explore how to break down the barriers between strangers. Uh, can you give us a suggestion? We can actually do it here. And we can, can do it here. can copy us. Then. Can you suggest a way that we can break this? Ice? Yeah, we have to say hello to each other. Say hello. <laughs> so let's introduce to one another. We can do it clockwise. So you can get Gana from Australia. Any from Second row. And you back there? Well, I'm Zwaraga from Athens. Hi, I'm Eleni, also from Athens. Great. Yeah. 
Yeah. 
Angelika Arden in Hamburg, in It's My First Time. Yeah, the document from the first hour as well. And I'm very curious what is going to happen. My name is Gabriela. I'm coming from Hamburg as well, but I'm born in Hamburg. <laughs> so I'm coming back to my roots and yeah, let's see what's going on. Now the people from Athens suggested that we stand up and position ourselves in the room and we speak with another person. So why did you suggest that they do that? I did a suggestion that we can all stand up and um, we, can talk, uh, we can talk to one person what we expected before we came here and then we can talk to someone else what we perceived here and we talk all at the same time. This is my proposition. How do you believe this is going to help with... Uh, how do you believe that this is going to help overcoming the dissonance that actually is uh, present in real life? Perhaps it will not overcome, but perhaps it offers a different knowledge. Mm -hmm. Perhaps it makes a difference between expectation and experience. Because uh, we were all um, imprinted by what we read about the experience we could have here, and then we have a different experience. The rest of you, how do you feel about that? The experience is not <laughs> As a medium, does it seem uh, something that it could work? Should we do it as well? Yes. Yeah. 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 I think it could be interesting to do it, uh, but not to do it once, but to do it uh, like once now and once in the very end, because I think the experience might change pretty much. Yes, we have. I think the experience might change while uh, this whole thing here has happened. So it would be interesting to do it again just at the very end because it might come out completely different. Or maybe not, but uh, like we could keep it in mind to maybe do it the second time in the end. Do you all agree with that? I think we should I say something. Oh, sorry. sorry. I have no experience at all and uh, expectations come. That's something that you expect, nothing, so you can discuss it with someone. I think actually we should set something, whatever that is, in motion, in order to understand that whatever is going to come next, because now we're in a, in a position, in a place, but only if we do something, we're going to come to another stage of what we are doing here, you know, staying stable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. let's do something. <laughs> let's, let's move. And I think also only the practice can change our status. <clears throat> so what's the, the time frame? How, how long do you speak with one person and do we change our I think we'll feel it because we're going to understand that the, the room in castle is going to be still because they don't know what to do. So that's going to be our clue, more or less. If, if someone gets an amazing response or a horrible response, that can trigger us in order to to see what we do next. There's no script, so. I have an idea to what to do next, but uh, I would like to wait for the experience before yeah. to propose it. Because if the idea was that everyone talks at the same time mm -hmm. to someone else, mm -hmm. not in couple. Everybody talks to a, one to everybody? Yes. <laughs> I don't know if we can stop it now. No, I don't think we can. I just want to precise. Yeah, but you What was your expectation? About a day? Yes. I expected that we would have a lot of people, mm -hmm. I told you so, and 
no, no. What are we going to do with them? They all look uh, interested and ready to dive in. Do After 80 performances, can you say you're surprised anymore? No, no. I th th there is going to be this much people every day until the closing. Okay. I'm, I'm making this prediction. It's going to get worse during the weekend. All these people, listen to them. So much dissonance.
να φωνάξουν να σταματήσουν. Ναι. Γιατί οι άνθρωποι πάνε και γράφουν, έχουν εκείνε οι δύο κοπέ που να πάνε και γράφουν να κάνουν κάτι άλλο. Hello, are you writing something to Castle? Yes. yes. Can you communicate this first to this room? Oh, yes. Yeah. It's not to get, uh, just to let them know. <laughs> Great. Let's go and stop everybody. Okay. I'm sorry, can you please stop? Yep, thank you. I'm sorry, can you please stop? Can you please stop? Can you please stop? Okay, thank you. Can you please stop? Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. Can you please stop? Thank you. Can you please stop? Thank you. Can you please stop? Thank you. I'm sorry. Can you please stop? Thank you. You're all done. Go ahead. <laughs> We are all still isolated in our narcissism and our individualism. So maybe because they are learning from atoms, and maybe we should, instead of being columns, we should all connect in some way. So put one arm on one person and another arm on another. And, and that way... <laughs> <laughs> and somehow... We can we each other? No, I think it's important to touch. Just, if it's okay, if everyone feels okay, but just sort of... But a connection. So keep touching. It can be a, <laughs> it can be, it can be a small part though, so you know like columns are not rigid. It's hard. Okay, we're, so we're let's communicate we're that to Castle that. first. We can do that. We can do that. You, sh you go and ahead and write to stop talking. That's okay, that's okay. So I'm up to There's no, it will pop me. That's okay. There's no, there's, there's no need for you to explain your theory. Okay. Just tell them what to do. So I, so I take that off? Exactly. I'll take that away then. Okay. Okay. First, you need to communicate it to the group, yeah. and then we can oh. make it real. Oh, the idea? Yes. Okay. When do I do that? After the lady explains to Castle what to do. Does anyone? 
explain exactly what we are doing to the camera. So, please, loud and clear. We are. We would like you to stand like columns of the Parthenon, but for each one to connect with each arm to somebody else. So you have two connections to two other people and connect like a puzzle, not, not in a circle, but like a puzzle, like an atom, like a, like a molecule. So we are all connected. Like more like a network than a circle. <laughs> Such a person, I'm the first one who's hugging a, a complete stranger, and still in this situation now, I had a really weird and absolute anti feeling. I didn't want to participate in touching anyone, and my friends were looking at me like you are, you are like really showing off, like ex, like the opposite of social connection, and I I don't feel that, but I have the feeling that I don't want anybody to tell me who to touch or when. I think it's a part of, of freedom is to interact directly with a person and then meet halfway. Mm -hmm. And this is very important for me, it's that any kind of connection is coming from both sides. Not that anybody is mm -hmm. taking my arm and puts it on somebody so I will be connected. That for me is uh, very uh, in... Yes, that's so she's basic. Basic. I mean, so you can uh, uh, yeah. and here. So but Maybe yeah, cross yeah. yeah. Maybe maybe yeah. Yeah. It was blaming me for not being connected. <laughs> I wasn't blaming. So I was giving in in a moment. It's very good. 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 It's I don't need permission, I just want like, <laughs> like we can connect because we communicate, uh -huh. but you taking my arm and put it on yes. somebody who's yes. looking in a different direction, yeah. inappropriate. it feels yeah. inappropriate. Yeah. If she would look at me at the same time and accept that approach, I don't need to ask permission, I can feel it. <laughs> So anybody knows this book narrative? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's really interesting yeah. because it's in the same way we're just touching something and not in the Okay. I have a, s a fun idea that I had uh, pretty early on, and then you mentioned the word columns, and then I thought, well, I'll just share the idea. I'd like to get that group to sort of roughly stand uh, in a rectangle, a la the Parthenon, and then step two would be to sing the phrase, we love the Parthenon, we love Greece. And sort of sing that over and over at least five or ten times. <coughs> As a performance. Why is it not a Pokemon? I think it's more funny. I don't want to say it's a Pokemon. Love what? Pokemon. Pokemon? Exactly.
What should they learn from it? They turn. Oh, they <laughs> I love Greece. I love Parthenon and I love Greece. <laughs> What should they do next? <laughs> what else do we need to teach them? I don't think it's about teaching. It's about expressing something, taking this stimulation that we're doing and returning back to us. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That can they please take a photo of the person they haven't talked to and then collect? I don't know, like maybe five of them in like ten seconds, if they could. How about that? Because everybody's connected through that apparently now, right? So I don't think I need to teach them. I think we just do that. Can you explain what you mean? Because I don't understand. What do you mean, people? Or just like uh, because the session earlier they touch, mm -hmm. they chat, so and they should, they should take a picture of somebody and then, and then because now they connect with us now mm -hmm. through here, so I'm curious about how to reconnect with them. I take a picture of the camera. No, the, the of the person behind the camera. Ah. Oh. Okay, but like a count to ten, right? So we don't. I really want to know the end of this, so I don't want this to be too long. Is it the same thing as uh, turning the camera around like this? You can choose that if you want to connect. I mean, I'm just curious, but I don't know. Who is the person who is filming? Whoever has, they must have, everyone must have phone there, maybe. <laughs> Whoever has the phone can do that. Whoever don't have the phone can be choose to be take a photo by or whatever. <laughs> and uh, I would like to do that for myself as well. That's okay. <laughs> okay. I just, uh, it's not that complicated. I just want to take a picture of the people. No, not a group. You have to be a single. If they want to, but 
but it doesn't need to show. It's just like what happened in the society. You see some walk past you, and yeah. you curious. And this, this time they're going to take a photograph. Yeah. I, I, I would like. I think they're doing it. I think they're doing it. So I don't like. Sometimes you ask permission. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Or it would just like go like this, and if I can, you can stand. Is it possible that someone can read us from Castle the text? Oh, sorry. The proposition. <laughs> Go ahead. I know she's talking. Yeah, who's taking the picture? Ah. Yeah. No, I just thought it could be. I would like to listen the text, which is written as a score, from someone from a castle to read us the text. Yes, as, a, as an opportunity. Can you communicate to the room what you just said? Can you communicate to our room what you just said? It is very hot, and we are very hot in this room, so I would like to teach you from Athens how to keep cool using the score. Please watch. Take your paper and fold it into an accordion like this. Now that you have your accordion, open it up like so and fan yourself. If your neighbor is hot and would like you to fan them, fan your neighbor. This is how you keep cool in Athens. Thank you. breaking down our um, individuality is to find out that we actually belong to groups that we otherwise aren't aware of. And the two groups that I'd like to see formed is people that are born before, from the first of the month to the 15th of the month over here, and people that are born from the 16th to the 31st of the month over here. Can we take like two minutes to um, listen 
and what is happening, like uh, no talking, just observing our places in the space, what we have done so far, and uh, if what we have done uh, resonates with the original purpose. Just two minutes. traditional Greek dances. We have asked them to pray the Barcelona and to say that they are priests. We have uh, learned them how to make their own dance. And I just want to make a short comment about the way that it was with the proposed process that since the beginning uh, Kind of individually, everyone proposed what they wanted uh, both to this group and in Kassel. Uh, there, I didn't notice any collective decision, for example, we didn't decide uh, all together what we would like uh, them to show to them or what we would like to propose. And um, also someone mentioned that uh, we should, uh, I think it was about the Parthenon thing that we should uh, play them uh, as instruments. So I'm wondering if uh, everything we did here resulted in them learning something from Athens, and at the same time, if it resulted.
dealt it to us, all of them, uh, with each other or with us, to be connected. directly by what we told them to do, but indirectly, I am learning a lot from group processes and how hierarchies work and how satisfaction and dissatisfaction in each individual and how the ego interferes with a task that actually is meant to connect. And, and although this task wants to connect, there is a social dissonance happening right now. So, that way, that where the connection comes from. I just wondering because when I read the text, there's standing something that audience is your instrument. We are generally instrumentalized. Prepare, blah blah blah. You know, but I, I, there's nothing standing about connect. So where oh, this I, idea of I just I just ask where yeah, this I idea of, of connection is coming from. I guess it's because of the task, like or my personal interpretation that if you want people to to think about topics like that, the aim would be to connect to each other. Like, what else would they be? Maybe it's not written down, but like my interpretation is when it's making it worthwhile, it's the connection between it, like to overcome the symptoms of our <coughs> society. But isn't the discon the dissonance the, the most possible connection we can have? Isn't the formal agreement a consensus? What does it have, what, what a consensus has to do with connection? So I found this discussion extremely interesting to take a form of, a form of connection, but isn't the dissonance of listening and uh, different opinions the ultimate connection? No. I, no, I, I don't, I just as a question. Does anybody <laughs> know this experience, this psychology? psychology experiment where you put someone in one room and tell them to uh, to give someone shocks, electroshocks. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the same. Someone say, do this, and yeah. we did it. Yeah. 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 I find it weird that like we didn't try to first figure out what is actually this um, individual narcissism before we start to try to overcome it. Like we didn't explore the task by itself. We immediately proposed something that could be a solution but is not implemented by the script. And um, like in the beginning I came here after reading this and I thought I could introduce uh, like a kind of performance we did in Hamburg for the G-Testing with like a similar intention but then like I realized there's no need for like there's no will in this group apparently for experiencing disconnectivity or narcissism or like the actual lack of social capacity. May I propose something? Because my heart is yearning for this right now. And I know you're also ready but can we please just help have other, <laughs> just like hug everybody right now in this room. I don't know why. <laughs> and I feel maybe this is the thing we should do as a group and come over. Right now, I'm with some language because I want to hug people. Probably. Yeah. I can do it. Yeah. 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 But just to continue this discussion, why she is hugging? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I think it, this is the way we can do it. We can create games, and every game has rules and freedom. And here 
in moving in the freedom and every, everybody does it personally, even individually, in his way. And I think this is also the, the, the way we can find out something about ourselves, something yeah. about your, yeah. your, your opposite, your, your, yeah. the, the human. I never saw you all, guys. It's the first yeah. time. It's yeah. really interesting how we react, how we act and how we react. And this is the game we can play. But therefore, we, we need rules. It's uh, something... Um, uh, so that's why I, I was asking before how, how many times we have to speak with someone. Could be, for example, an idea like we are walking in the room and we have 30 seconds to introduce to, to if you are interested. If you are not interested, if you just go on. Something like that, you know? Um, uh, there, there are many possibilities. I think we've done our introductions and that's really important. We've broken the ice, the interpersonal ice. We know a little bit about each other. What we want now is to, is to establish the relationships between each other. How, where do we connect in ways that we don't otherwise don't understand? And that's a very difficult step to do. But I think that's what we want to do as a group, if I'm feeling it right, is to take it to the next level and work out what our relationships actually are. She wants a relationship. She wants to connect to people. And that's a really difficult area to cross. And, and that's, that's what my suggestion was before. Let's at least form ourselves into a few subgroups so we understand what how we're related, how we're common in certain areas. Because what you're asking for is the two rules that every immigrant wants to know in Australia, and that is, where am I and what are the rules? Once you know that, you're comfortable. And we still don't know where we are, we still don't know what the rules are. We're, still, we're all immigrants here. We're all refugees. What does this all have to do with capitalism? What does this all have to do with capitalism?